Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. I'm in boxing something. Usually I sort of reserve these types of videos for shorts, but this is a big book. So um, as you can see from the thing, um, the box is Jojo a go go. Now recently I did an unboxing, actually not recently, it's been a while, but um, a while ago I did an unboxing for Jojo Veller. And now I finally have Jojo a go go. So um, yeah, let's open it. Um, recently this just got uh, I think a reprint at long last and I'm gonna go ahead and get this now before it becomes either impossible to find or straight up expensive to find now all I just need is for Japan to um, make reprints for the bleach jet black art books because when that happens I am going to be getting it immediately Okay. Ooh, this is huge. All right, all right, get this out of the way. All right, so again, sorry for the glare. There's nothing I could do about it. This is the best type of lighting that I could do. So um, yeah, apparently there's a lot of things in this. So um, this one is illustrations, this two is stands, and this three is, well, Rocky Hiroiko, whatever that means. So um, yeah, let's open this let me not try to okay um i'm under i think this only goes up to part five because jojo vela goes up to like midway of part um eight i think because by the time jojo vela came out part eight was not even done or even close to done so um yeah get rid of this so yeah, the cover has um, Giorno, Trish, and um, something. So what's interesting about this cover is that it's like, I could change the, uh, <laughs> the faces. Um, it's cute, it's very cute. Also has like things like here, here, here. It's something, it's a, it's a very interesting cover. Um, but yeah. Let's see the insides of this book. Okay, Jojo Gogo. Let me take this out. Um, let me see the other art books. Oh, okay, so it's three. Let me just see what this is. What is it like sketch things, interview things? Just a wordy portion of it. Okay. Okay. Let's just see. now stands. Now this is not going to be as updated as the one in George Veller, obviously. But you know. Okay, it goes over what like star platinum. Uh, the stats, the ranking. Yeah, this stuff that. Yeah, just basic. Um, stats for stands and so on and so forth and of course it only goes as part five yeah with golden experience record one being the last one since this stand next to tusk act four is one of the most broken stands in the series all right so that's just these two and then the art book all right let me move this out of the way Okay, that's what the box is. Lucky land and communications. This is definitely, this is probably gonna be a lot of repeating from the Jojo Veller art book, but you know, um, there's some value in seeing what this art book has. Yeah, okay. Again, the best part about Jojo is the lack of, uh, like, canonical colors, because Araki could give Jorno blue hair, red hair, yellow hair, doesn't matter. And um, it's good that he did this relatively soon, so it's not jarring. I have one dancing. I'm so upset this guy just gets written out of the story. It's so, so stupid. And then we have part. We have. Josuke and Okiasa. Uh, 
Rohan and just people from part four. Kira and some stands. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's Dio, right? This is Dio. He has the headband. Okay. We have um, Jotaro and maybe I should know who this is. I haven't read Jojo in forever. So I'm a bit um, rusty with the characters and their names. It's like, come on, there's like, now there's ten, no, there's nine parts now, so I can't remember everyone. There's a lot of people that um, say part five was absolute trash, and um, I don't want to say trash. I just personally don't think it's the best part. Um, for me, personally, I think part six is somewhat trash. I, I just don't care for part six. Um, I read it still, but uh, it was a bit meh for me. I don't know. I definitely will read part, I, I, but I do see the issues part five has, especially um, back then, man. To be fair, part five is super old. Jojo, I don't think a lot of people realize how old Jojo is, considering it's only recently getting anime ad adaptations, and it's only recently getting an official um, English publication. So I think like the scanlations or wherever people read online was absolute garbage. And <coughs> I think people didn't quite understood or understand um, King Crimson's power. That and overall the translation for this part was sort of all over the place. The style and the aesthetic of Jojo is just so, so good. That's why if I were to do it on artist analysis for Araki, that'd be an hour long video me dissecting every part and its distinct style and how it develops and changes. Oh boy. You got Rohan. Heaven's Door. Okay, so I guess, yeah. We're going back from five, so five, four, I'm assuming. Three, two, one, let's see. Nope, nope, not exactly. So let me go through this a bit more in depth. Sorry for your noise, my roommates, so sorry about that. Welcome to the battlefield. We got the classic deal pose amongst many other poses. I might be very basic in saying this, but for me, obviously, part seven is my favorite part. Um, I think I mentioned this in probably Jojo Vela when I was looking at that, but it's just something about that part. It's just it's action packed and kept me wanting to go. Um, part eight, I fell asleep on part eight. I need, I still didn't finish it. Um, I, I sort of jumped into part nine, Jojo Lands, and I'm not gonna lie, Jojo Lands is, is hitting hard. It's pretty good. All right, I love, I love this one. I love this cover. Something about this illustration, it's just I really like it. <laughs> this looks like he's biting his ear. <laughs> yeah, okay. The G pose. King Cream. King, I can't speak. King Crimson looks so angry. Oh my god. We got D Diablo's alter ego. Wait, we got part two, Battle Tendency, Joseph, Lisa, Lisa, <sighs> Caesar. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the colors. Like, look at all this detail. And he, and although his style does change later on, he still keeps this massive amount of detail. Although he doesn't make his character characters as buff as this anymore. And good for that, because there is no need for future JoJo's to just be ridiculously buff, considering that stands sort of make physical power sort of unnecessary. I also like this pose to the gold. I will say Rocky was on his bag when he was doing stands. That was, that was a pretty good move on his part. Hama was about to just devolve into a generic, a generic power system. So I also like this one too. This is a really nice one. Oh 
my god. And Jojo a go go bonus track. Okay, no, it's just um, an index of all the illustrations. And we get part um, six. Okay, part six was not made yet. Okay, I'm assuming that's the or part six was announced. All right, and that's when um, Jojo Vela comes in. All right, so okay, this is it. Um, what the hell is this? Okay, just a random piece of paper. Let me just slide this back in, just in case. Please, okay. So yeah, that was Jojo a go go. What is this sheet of paper here now? This is just like the back one. Yes, it's just like the one in the back. All right, let me just let me just put this back in here. All right, let me get the other half. Ooh. Ooh. It's honestly another nice art book to add to my massive collection of art books. Um, one day I'd like to have a library, not a library, but a, a nice long bookshelf where I could put all these art books that I have. Um, and um, with this, I think I have, if if not all, then most of the JoJo art books because um, I do have JoJonical and I do buy JoJo 6251 at one point. This only went up to part four, I think. This goes up to part five and just touches six at the very end. And um, Jojo Vela goes through part in the middle of part eight. Um, I think Jojo Nicole or Jojo Nicole goes um I think this is after Jojo Vela, if not if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it's mainly like an interview stuff. It's mainly a wordy type art book. Um, I might open these two art books in like YouTube shorts. I think I might do that. But um, yeah, I, have, I think all that's left for me to get, and I say get because I don't really know if I want to get them, is the JoJo magazines. And I'll put like two pictures up here to show you what I'm talking about. Um, I'll, I think I'll get them in my free time whenever I'm ready. But um, yeah, putting these books aside, that was JoJo a go go. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, um, unboxings, um, I think I'm going to reserve unboxing, like art book unboxings, if it's like big art books or, you know, something that, you know, deserves a full length video, like a small flip through of me looking at it. Like this book is pretty thick, honestly. Um, but yeah, um, big art books, I'll do full videos, smaller, lesser, random art books that I buy occasionally, I'll do YouTube shorts. Um, and speaking of that, I do plan to do another art book unboxing like this for another artist relatively soon. Um, I'm still working on the next artist analysis, so be patient with me guys, please. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.